All right, Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory unto Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Makakudash. Double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone that rule impeccably well. Shalom to the hope for the elect, pushing his truth and sincerity throughout the four corners of the globe in the sincere hopes of being delivered in these last days. This is the Bavi Akanan from the GMS Ingana branch. This will serve as an intransit edition video, Lord willing. As always, it's um, edifying unto you brothers out there and um, also the few sisters listening and uh, learning, all right? Now, um, the title of this video, um, Lord willing, is going to be what we do now counts all right what we do now counts and you know being a representative of the right hand side of Yahweh Bar Shem Shai, you know being spokesman for the words of Yahweh Bar Shem Shai, all right as we are the mouthpieces, you know, through the spirit and as it's written, everything that we do concerning, you know, pushing this word, concerning studying, concerning, you know, the brotherhood, all right, concerning, you know, representing Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai in our time here, in this flesh upon the face of the earth, is imperative you know to our salvation okay it makes an effect everything we do makes an effect negative or positive concerning you know your spiritual well-being in these last days and that's why it's so important to constantly you know analyze yourself in the spirit all right to see whether you know you are actually doing the right thing to see whether you are representing, you know, Yahweh Bar Shem Shai accordingly. All right, because we can't, we can't just do what we want in this truth. All right, we cannot just do what we want in this truth. We follow, you know, a spiritual code of conduct. All right, in which the the, the top line of that code of conduct is fearing Yahweh Bar Shem Shai. All right, and that's what you know keeps you in check. That's what keeps you, you know, doing the right thing. And that's what keeps you, you know, striving, you know, in the ministry. All right. Is the fear of Yahweh Bar Shem Yahweh Shai, man. And what could possibly happen to you if you don't represent Yahweh Bar Shem Yahweh Shai accordingly. All right. And you don't, you know, do the things that's required in his truth. All right. And it's like, you know, it's like any business, you know, in the world. All right. You work for Esau. That, that, that company has a code of conduct. That company has a, a way that they want to be broadcasted to the world. That, you know, the way they want to be marketed. Okay? And if you go outside of um, those bounds of representation, all right? Or if you make the company look bad, all right? Then they could call that, what, gross misconduct. And they can get rid of you. All right? And it's the same with your Bar Shem Shai. If you don't represent... Yahweh Bar Shem Shai accordingly, all right? Concerning, you know, the doctrine, concerning preaching the word, you know, concerning, you know, not being slothful in business, okay? Then Yahweh Bar Shem Shai might just get rid of you, man, all right? He might fire you. And that's a terrible thing, man, all right? Because he will take the spirit away from you. And like I always quote, you know, in Psalms um, 51, you know, how our king, King David, you know, he asked the Most High not to take away his Holy Spirit from him, man. And he also said to um, unite his heart, you know, meaning his mind, to fear the name of Yahweh Bar Shem Shai. So there's particular, you know, traits and ingredients that you have to have in your spirit in order to last until the end, man. All right, and as the scripture says, you know, he that enjoyeth unto the end the same shall be saved, man. So this is a thing of endurance, all right? This is a spiritual battle, man, that we have to fight to Lord willing, you know, be worthy to be, you know, called of the elect of Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai because that is a heavy blessing, 
all right, to be of the elect of Yahweh Bar Shem Yahushai, okay, an elect, you know, representative of Yahweh Bar Shem Yahushai on the right hand side, that is a, a very um, heavy blessing, man. And that's not something that you can or should take lightly, all right? So it's very, you know, imperative, you know, for us to realize that everything that, everything that we do, you know, in this ministry, you know, every, every video that you upload, you know, every piece of edification, you know, that you bring out of your spirit, all right, that is drawn out of you, it actually matters, man, okay? The scriptures say that, you know, in, in the book of Revelations, all right, that the Lord is a rewarder of them that diligently seek him, okay? So you're only going to be rewarded, all right, if you diligently seek Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai. And there's a lot of scriptures that talk about diligence, man. All right, give diligence to make your calling and your election sure, okay? To make it sure. If you want your election to be sure, all right, there's certain traits you're going to have. There's certain characteristics, identifying marks that you're going to have, all right, that's going to set you apart from the rest, okay? There's certain identifying marks that you're going to have that's going to set you apart from the rest, man. And one of those key identifying marks is diligence, man. All right? Because diligence shows what? It shows that you actually believe in his truth. It shows that you believe in the saving power of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai. Diligence, man. Okay? You're using, you know, a large, some substantial portion of your time all right of your life of your spirit in order to actually push this word all right so if you are look for example if you're doing a video every day you know the spirit is on you to do a video every day or let's just say you're doing a video you're studying every day all right your how about shim yao shai is constantly on your mind and then what, what does that show you that shows you that you've actually devoted all right a large portion of your existence solely to the lord all right because we can't forget, you know, the real reason why we're actually here. The real reason why we're here is to serve Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai. As the scriptures say, fear the Lord and keep his commandments. This is the whole duty of man. Okay? So our actual purpose for actually being here is to serve Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai, man. Okay? Now, of course, you know, we have to work in this man's kingdom. We have to sustain ourselves in this man's kingdom. All right? Some brothers, you know, have a family. You know, you might have children, you might have a, a woman. So, you know, you have to sustain them too. But your main purpose, your main job, all right, is to serve Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai. So you can't let anything else in this world eclipse that, man. All right? It always has to be the main focus. Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai, doing this work, doing the videos, studying, meditating on the end of this, of, of this kingdom, okay? Because these prophecies are coming to pass, man. All right? As it says in the book of Habakkuk, all right? Though it tarry, wait for it, because it will surely come. It will not tarry, man. And we can clearly see in these last days that it's no longer tarrying. Okay? These prophecies are coming to pass, man. Things are happening. Things are actually happening every day. You know, I just seen a video that the brother uh, Yashalam had have uploaded uh, on GMS Watchman channel. And basically... What they were saying now is um they're now making um the chip um basically your passport is, is able to be put on a chip now and that chip can be put in your hand okay and that's official now man all right so they're making it um you know they're causing you know people to go and bow down you know to this um b system man that's exactly what Esau Edom is doing. He's causing people to bow down to his beast system, all right? By introducing all of this technology, all right? And all these ways of working and customizing the people, all right? To actually get used to it. But at a point in time, you know, he's going to make these things mandatory, man. But he would rather you just get down with the program without brutal force, all right? But brutal force will be used because there will be uproars of the people. There will be rebellion you know, against this system, and he knows that. So he has brutal force, you know, um, prepared, man. All right, he has them, draw, draw, them drawn swords, you know, prepared ultimately, man. All right, so this is, you know, the time and the end. This is not the time, you know, to slack. This is the time, you know, to keep, you know, motivating yourself, all right, and others, you know, and the brotherhood, 
all right? In the spirit and power of Yahweh Barshim Yahushai, because this is it. This is literally it, man. Everything we do counts, all right? Everything we do through the spirit and power of Yahweh Barshim Yahushai counts towards our spiritual well-being in these last days. And yeah, it sounds like, you know, a broken record, all right? Because we keep coming out with these, you know, topics, you know, and these things, you know, of edification, but it's necessary. You know, it is actually necessary. It tells us in the Apocrypha that the word of, of Yahweh Barashim Yahushua is constant, okay? It's a constant, repetitive uh, message, you know, of prophecy, man, throughout the whole scriptures, man, okay? Prophecy, exhortation, okay? That's what the whole, that's what the scriptures is about, all right? It's all about, you know, all of these things that we talk about in our videos all of the time, man. All right, and it's a repetitive message. It's like an annoying alarm, alarm clock, man. All right, it's designed to annoy you and to wake you up. All right, so you understand and know what time you are actually in. All right, why do you think alarm clocks are designed that way? All right, you're sleeping. It's designed to get you out of your sleep. All right, it's designed to literally get you out of your slumber, man, and get you up and out of the bed. And that's it's exactly the same as this truth, man, because you have our people that are literally sleeping, man. All right, but those are of the elect, they will wake up. They will wake up to that alarm, all right? And they will, they will accustom themselves to that alarm, okay? Don't you think, um, you know, uh, Noah, you know? Noah was repetitive, man, all right? Decades upon decades, you know, while he was building the ark, he was prophesying the downfall, okay, at that time, okay? And no one listened, man. And then what happened? The flood came and washed them away, man. And the same thing is going to happen all over again, all right, in these last days, man, all right? But repetition is key. Repetition is key, man, all right? The words of Yahweh Hashem Yahushai are constant, all right? So with that, Lord willing, um, this lesson was edifying. And until the next time, I'll say Shalom.